everybody. Welcome to Fit for the Masters Youth Episode 5. Let's get started with some rosy tidbits. Tidbit number one. Here are my time. Pecans in the cemetery. On the outskirts of a small town, there was a big old pecan tree just inside the cemetery fence. One day, two boys filled up a bucket full of nuts and sat down by the tree out of sight and began dividing the nuts. One for you, one for me, one for you, one for me, said one boy. Several dropped and rolled down toward the fence. Another boy came riding along the road on his bicycle. As he passed, he thought he heard voices from inside the cemetery. He slowed down to investigate. Sure enough, he heard one for you, one for me, one for you, one for me. He just knew what it was. He jumped back on his bike and rode off. Just around the bend, he met an old man with a cane hobbling along. Come here quick, said the boy. You won't believe what I heard. Satan and the Lord are down at the cemetery dividing up the souls. The man said, beat it, kid. Can't you see it's hard for me to walk? When the boy insisted, though, the man hobbled slowly to the cemetery. Standing by the fence, they heard, one for you, one for me, one for you, one for me. The old man whispered, boy, you've been telling me the truth. Let's see if we can see the Lord. Shaking with fear, they peered through the fence, yet were still unable to see anything. The old man and the boy gripped the wrought iron bars of the fence tighter and tighter as they tried to get a glimpse of the Lord. At last, they heard, one for you, one for me, that's all. Now, let's go get those nuts by the fence and we'll be done. They say <laughs> the old man had to lead for a good half mile before the kid on the bike passed him. <laughs> All right, three things that you've probably never heard in church, but you may hear um, after COVID-19 and we can get back in the church. Number one, pastor, I was so enthralled, I never noticed your sermon went over time, 25 minutes. Number two, I love it when we sing hymns I've never heard before. Number three, since we're all here, let's start the worship service early. <laughs> <laughs> All right, tidbit number two. I woke up one morning and I was just feeling kind of blah, um, COVID-19 and all the other things, the drama that's coming along with it can sometimes, you know, get to you. But I began to think about the Lord. I began to uh, think about the fact that I'm victorious, I'm triumphant, and I am an overcomer. And I thank God because Jesus made that possible when he died. Now, if he would have just died, you know, it wouldn't have been possible. But he died and he rose again with all power in his hands. I began to laugh, y'all. I mean, when I thought about those facts, I laughed, I laughed, and I laughed, and boy, it was fun. God knows what we need, and he knows that I needed to laugh that morning. Laughter is medicine, and it sure does a body good. I get joy, I get happy when I think about what God has done for me. Jesus is to me. I get joy when I 
think about what Jesus is to me. I get joy when I think about who Jesus is to me. I get joy, joy, joy when I think about who Jesus is to me. He's Jehovah Jireh, my provider, who he is to me. He's Jehovah Rapha, the Lord who heals. Jesus. When I think about what he's done for me. I tell you, I can have a little church, but now it's not the time nor the place. All right, moving right along to tidbit number three. I apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar. ACV has a history of being a powerful cleansing and healing cure all. It contains natural occurring antibiotic and antiseptic properties that fight germs and bacteria for a healthier, stronger, longer life. It's been traced as far back as 3000 BC. It was used in biblical times as an antiseptic and a healing agent. In Paris in the Middle Ages, it was sold from barrels by street vendors as a body deodorant healing tonic and delicious vinegar drink to keep the body healthy and ageless. People have used ACV as a way to lose weight, improve heart health, and even treat dandruff. It may relieve headaches, zap sore throats, fight coughs and colds, help improve digestion, fight kidney and bladder problems, fight arthritis, and combat mucus. If splashed on a burn of any kind, it may stop the intense continual pain instantly and permanently. It also may help prevent scarring. Now, all vinegars are not created equal. The vinegar I'm talking about is raw, organic, unfiltered, unpasteurized ABC with the Miracle Mother. Now you probably can't see it at that distance, but it has brown things in the bottom of it. So it's the Miracle Mother that's down at the bottom. I use this vinegar first before I try anything else, especially for several reasons that I just shared with you. The mother, okay, right here. The mother is believed to be rich in health-boosting natural protein, healthy bacteria, acidic acid. 
It forms naturally as raw organic vinegar ferments, producing a cloudy brownish vinegar with cobweb-like substances at the bottom of the bottle. If a vinegar looks crystal clear, it's been filtered and pasteurized to remove the mother and most of its nutrients. Now this vinegar is a little more expensive than your regular vinegar, so you know I don't use it for cleaning. Once the bottle is half gone, you can use some regular brown vinegar and you know fill it up to uh, get more bang for your buck. Just make sure that there's some brown mother in the bottom of it. And of course you all know that um, vinegar never needs to be refrigerated. ACV has been used as an alternative to salt, a foot soak, a skin cleanser, and toner. A cleansing hair rinse, a steamer facial treatment, sore muscle reliever, a salad dressing, and as a daily drink. A common dosage for ACV as a drink ranges from one teaspoon to two tablespoons per day mixed in a glass of water. It can be hard on your throat if you don't mix it with water. It's acidic and can cause damage to tooth enamel. So drink it through a straw, mix it with water, or rinse your mouth with water after drinking it. If you're considering giving ACV a try as a drink, start slow to gauge how your stomach handles it. And consider talking to your doctor about the potential risk, especially interactions with your current medications. Critics may argue that ACV is great as a salad dressing and not much else, but I am a firm supporter of this God-given home remedy. I sing its praises because I've experienced the benefits. And you know, you can get any brand of it as long as it has the mother in it. Have you tried ACV? How did it work for you? Let me know. I hope you enjoy these tidbits. If you know Jesus Christ, now is the time to get to know him even better. If you don't know him, <laughs> you know, it will be the wisest decision you will ever make when you accept him as your Lord and Savior. Okay, so thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.